Welcome back to India Edu Tutorials. In our previous classes, we have discussed about basic concepts of geometric progression and some basic examples. Today, we would be discuss about more concepts of GP with more complex examples. So, there are some things which you need to know while solving GP questions. First point is that if all terms in GP be multiplied or divided by same quantity, then resultant series will be GP with same R, which is the common ratio. For example, if you are having series say 2, 4, 8 and so on. And suppose this is multiplied by 2, so resultant will be 4, 8, 16 and so on. Now you can see that here the common ratio between terms is 2 because 4 divided by 2 is 2. Similarly, 8 divided by 4 is 2. In the second series which we have obtained by multiplying this first series by 2, here also the common ratio is same which is 2. That is 8 divided by 4 gives us 2. Similarly, 16 divided by 8 is 2. And this also forms a GP. So this is one factor which you need to remember. Secondly, if you need to assume terms in GP, suppose they are given that assume 3 terms, 5 terms, 6 or 7 terms, then you can assume the terms for example, if, they are, if you need to assume three terms in GP, then you can assume them as A, AR, comma, AR square. If, or you can also assume them A divided by R, A or AR. This assumption simplifies the question. Now let's understand some examples of GP. The example says, how many terms of GP, which is 3, comma, 3 by 2, comma, 3 by 4, and so on are needed to give sum 3069 divided by 512. So here we know that our first term which is a is equal to 3. Our common ratio will be equal to 3 divided by 2 upon 3 which gives us 1 by 2 and sum of n terms is given as 3069 divided by 512 and we need to find out number of terms that is n is equals to question mark now we can put here the formula which is used to calculate the sum and with the help of that we can calculate value of n now first question arises that which formula we should take for calculating the value of n there are two formulas for calculating the value of sum now here we can see that value of r is less than 1 so we will take formula of sum where r is less than 1 which is equal to a into 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r which will give us value of a is 3 over here into 1 minus r is 1 by 2 to the power n upon 1 minus 1 by 2 which will give us 3 into 1 minus 1 upon 2 to the power n divided by half and this sum is equal to 3069 to 512 that is 3069 divided by 512 this gives us 3069 divided by 512 equals to multiply it which gives us 6 into 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n multiply it in the denominator which gives you 3069 upon 3072 equals to 1 minus 1 divided by 2 to the power n which can be written as 1 divided by 2 to the power n because we have taken this term to our left side and this term to right side to get 1069 divided by 3072 which is equal to 3072 minus 3069 upon 3072 after taking LCM which further gives us 3 divided by 3072 divide it and you will get 1 divided by 1024 this is equal to 1 upon 2 to the power 10. So 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 10. So value of n is equal to 10 over here. 
now let's understand another example our next example is sum of first three terms of gp is 13 by 12 and their product is minus 1 find common ratio and the terms now as i have discussed previously that if you need to take any three terms then we can have them as a by r a and a into r so let's assume that these are our three terms of this gp whose sum is given as 13 by 12 that is a r plus a plus a r is equal to 13 by 12 and their product is minus 1 which is a by r into a into a r is equal to minus 1 cancel r from r we get a cube minus 1 value of a is minus 1 now putting this value in this equation we will get the value of r which will be a r plus a plus a r equals to 13 by 12 now putting value of a gives us minus 1 by r minus 1 minus 1 into r is equals to 13 by 12 or you can have them as now take the LCM which will give you minus 1 minus r minus r square upon r equals to 13 by 12 cross multiply them and you will get minus 12 minus 12 r minus 12 r square equals to 13 r now because all these terms are negative so we will move them to other side to make them positive which will give us 13 r plus 12 plus 12 r plus 12 r square and we will get 12 r square plus 13 r plus 12 r is 25 r plus 12 which is equal to 0 now this is a quadratic equation let's solve it quickly now we need any any two numbers whose multiplication will give us 144 because 12 into 12 is 144 and whose summation will give us 25 as the answer so these two such terms are 16 and 9 so we can bifurcate this 25 as 16 r plus 9 r plus 12 which is 12 r sorry taking common from this will give us 4 r 3 r plus 4 similarly take 3 common from here we will get 3 r plus 4 equals to 0 0 pair them up we will get 3 r plus 4 into 4 r plus 3 both will be equal to 0 and we will get value of r as minus 4 by 3 and minus 3 by 4 now putting these values in our terms which we have assumed which are a by r a and a r the value of putting first value of r that is first we are taking r as minus 4 by 3 putting in this which is a r comma a comma a r a is minus 1 upon minus 4 by 3 comma minus 1 minus 1 into minus 4 by 3 cancel minus from minus we will get 3 by 4 minus 1 and comma 4 by 3 is answer similarly for second where r is equal to minus 3 by 4 our answer would be minus 1 divided by minus 3 by 4 comma minus 1 and minus 1 into minus 3 by 4 cancel minus we will get 4 by 3 minus 1 and 3 by 4 now you can see that terms of both these series are equal it's just that one is in decreasing order and the other one is in increasing order i hope you have enjoyed this trick and understood the concepts of gp for more tutorials and practice questions you can log into indiaedu.com